Welcome and thanks for using the Culture Homes Realtor Portal. Uh, we hope you find this to be a very useful tool and in this video we're going to show you how to create flyers. Now, in order to create a flyer, you do need to have entered all your information into the My Account, which you see that tab right up there. And once you've got all that in, your headshot, your contact info, you can start creating flyers. So, we haven't done one yet. This first one we're going to create is what's called a community fact sheet. So this is general information about one of our communities. So uh, I can choose right there to select that template if I want and here are the communities that set up right now with a community fact sheet. You can also choose by region in terms of where Culture Homes builds, uh, community type if it's active adult, single family, and directly by the community name. So community fact sheet, super easy to create. Uh, we're going to do one for Alton, so we simply click Alton. Here's my information, just confirming that. That's the template preview. And because it doesn't require anything else from me aside from that, I just hit Create. Give it a moment, and here we go. Now, if I want to preview it, I can just click right on there, and it opens up. There's my headshot, there's my logo, there's my contact info, and then here's all the information we've already got preloaded with photos, etc. about Alton. You like it? Very simple. You just click download PDF. It's there. And in my case, it's going to open up in my PDF viewer. And there's my template in a moment. And once it opens up here, that's the PDF version. I can print it. I can save it uh, to a folder and then I can email it to clients, whatever I want to do. So that's as easy it is as it is to create a community fact sheet. Now I'm going to end the video here and if I go back now, actually before I end it real quick, now when I click on my flyers again, this is one I've created. Alright, so those are my flyers and then if for any reason I want to change something, I want to archive it, I want to delete it, all I have to do is click on it there. So let's delete that one, yes, and now when I come back to my flyers, it confirms it's been deleted, and I can create another one. So again, going to end the video here, and we'll start up another one to show you how to create a listings flyer. Thanks.